Hello everyone and welcome to this week's Westland Survival News video. Today we're covering the latest update to hit the stores for the game, version 0.12.1 in which the devs have added a whole host of new traders in the town, as well as multiple balance changes and bug fixes. We'll start with the most interesting aspect, the four new traders, each offering 10 different trades to a theme. One being hide, one nails and ingots, the next being stones, rope and tools, and finally Christoph Rush, the only named trader who has three different types of wood for trade, as well as a bucket of tar and assorted tools. These traders all have a finite amount of resources available for trade that reset every 24 hours, and they also have a few items slash resources available to buy for coins, such as 20 copper ore for one coin each, and iron axes for 100 coins apiece. In my own experience, our new trader buddies are a brilliant addition to the game, as they allow you to get the more rare items in the game by trading lower tiers. For example, you trade pine boards for oak boards at a 5 to 1 ratio, and then oak boards for maple boards at a 5 to 1 ratio as well. So for 100 pine planks, you can get 4 maple planks by doing all of the individual trades. At first glance, this may not seem like an incredible deal. However, with the update, the broken bridge price was not changed and still costs 100 iron nails. And now incredibly difficult items to come by, severely limiting our access to maple unless you had the bridge unlocked before the update. Now onto the other new additions to the game. The bandits attack was added back to the game, energy consumption for running was reduced, the dry forest was moved, walls can be deleted and will send the resources direct to your inbox, and finally the fuel and fuel storage were removed from the game. Not a change I personally agree with, but oh well. Canyon trials. Total number of waves was increased to 25 and the original waves were changed and new enemies have been added, as well as the rewards being adjusted according to the wave difficulty. Spirit Cave. Enemies have been buffed and balanced to align with the new game balance and it is no longer recommended to visit the location before level 30. The rewards from the chest of Wanika will no longer increase with an increase in cave difficulty level. However, the rewards from the boss's chest will be changed with increase in cave difficulty level. And to fight the boss, you'll now have to kill at least one mini boss. These are Payasa and Asankva. I can't say that word. And finally, more enemies and chests have been added to the fourth room of the cave, which was previously a tad barren. That's going to do it for this week's Westland Survival News video. I do apologise if I sound a bit off in this video. I currently have Lilia strapped to my chest as she's decided that's the only way she will now sleep. Thank you very much for watching everybody and I will see you all next time. Goodbye.